welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a comparison video amongst two different kinds of, I guess, pimple patches. One is on this Next Care Acne Absorbing Covers. The other one is on CauseRx Acne Pimple Master Patch. Uh, before I do so, if you are not subscribed to this channel, make sure you do so and turn on that little bell for notification. I do a lot of beauty and lifestyle related videos where I compare different products or I give you know thoughts on my products um, that I want to try out or of course hauls. Anyways, let's get back to this video. Um, I guess giving you guys a little bit history about I guess my skin I do have combination dry skin where I am oily in my t-zone and dried on my cheek area I do suffer from acne from time to time whether it's acne pimples or zits where I usually have breakouts down here um, and of course on the edges of uh, I guess my forehead as well and of course on my back um, I've been using pimple patches for years. I've actually started off with using the brand Next Care, and that would have been from a seller off eBay from Taiwan. So it was like, I guess, more of the Asian brand. I started off with that one because of, I believe it was actually a YouTuber at the time who tried it out and I was like, yes, I wanna try it out because I love those like, you know, those strips for your nose where you leave it on for 10 minutes and you remove it and you see all that gunk. And this is a similar concept, except for you're gonna leave it on for a lot longer. But of course, if you don't like seeing that gunk, this is not a solution for you if you have uh, acne breakouts. Um, but of course, if you are like me who finds it really satisfying to you know remove and see all that gunk that's on a patch that is removed from your skin this is you know probably the video you want to watch <laughs> with that being said um so the next care one i started off buying it from ebay like i mentioned for about five dollars for also 36 um patches um with that being said the packaging obviously looks different i bought this one at my um local drugstore no they have it at my local drugstore i bought this one off amazon so you can probably purchase it um i guess either places i'll probably if i can find the packaging of how the one in asia looks like i'll probably put it right here anyways so this one retails for actually about ten dollars uh when it's on sale and if it's not it can go up to about twelve dollars canadian uh, with 36 patches as i mentioned with two different sizes as you can tell um they do have the smaller one and the big one i usually tend to like to use a small one for you know a one-off acne and then the bigger one is only if I know there's a lot to extract out or if I have like two clogged pores at the same time that I put this on. Pimple patches, um, under my own experience for the past few years, is if you see one coming out like in terms of a pimple or acne, it's not ready to be used for a pimple patch because once you put it on, you probably can't extract anything so it's one of those where you kind of have to uh you know leave your acne alone for a few days or try to use spot treatments um such as treatment gels or you know tea tree oil try to use some of those before you attempt using the pimple patches at least that's what i've noticed because i know uh with my husband he also suffers from acne breakouts as well and you know, both of us have this tendency of we like to scratch on our acne and therefore it probably already extracted most of the, um, I guess, pusk from the acne itself. So therefore, this is not something that will work right away for us. But with that being said, um, if it's an acne that's been around for a while or you realize, oh, why isn't it curing up on its own? Definitely try these pimple patches and it, it will work like wonder. You'll see it be removed. Anyways, um, with that being said, I'm going to open this package to show you guys how these um, covers look like. So they look like this. These are the 36 um, patches on one sticker pack. Um, on the back of it, it does tell you the expiry date. So generally speaking, I guess you should keep the packaging if you don't use it often, just so you know when it expires. Personally, I go through these way before the expiry date anyways. Um, so that's why I tend to like to remove as much packaging as I can so that I don't have to uh, worry about uh, it taking up a lot of space in my washroom. So the one thing with this is, so here's the pack. 
um, and basically there is plastic on both sides because the patches, it doesn't matter which side you put it on, it will adhere to your skin um, and easily be able to put it on. It does say this kind is actually non-drying, so non-drying on the skin, so you won't basically, when you um, peel it off, you'll realize you don't have like a dry uh, spot, which is great. Um, one thing about this is that I don't like so much is one, it only comes in two sizes, uh, which I, I guess it doesn't really bother me too much. But the other thing is it's how thick it is. Given how thick it is and because I'm a rocky sleeper at nighttime, sometimes it depends on where it is on my face and does it adhere onto my skin well enough because like let's say if it's in the, between like these crevices, this probably won't stay all night. <laughs> so in other words, those areas, it won't get to it. Um, and in fact, it will probably fall off at the middle of the night and, you know, I'll have to be looking for it the next morning. But I do like the fact that it doesn't dry up your skin and it does do its job, which is extracting all that gunk off your pore. So, of course, I'm comparing it to the CosRx. Um, you can actually say, I guess this is like the West versus the East, but Next Care, I did start off by using, I guess, an Asian packaged one um, versus a uh, Western packaged one. Uh, with that being said, CosRx right here. I buy this off Amazon and it retails for about, I buy usually four packs, so about $17 Canadian. So it works out to be about $4, less than $5 a pack for 24 patches. So it's a little less than the Next Care one, but I feel like even if I bought two of these, which would give me 48 patches, it will still be less of a cost than the, uh, than the Next Care one, right? Which is minimum $10. Uh, with that being said, this comes with three different sizes. So I do have an open pack right here. Um, so it does have three different sizes right here. Um, I tend to gravitate towards using the smallest ones first before I work towards the larger ones, other than if there's pores where I want to, or I know it would extract more out um, than the rest. This one is on a, I guess, just a, like a sticker sheet where only one side adheres to your skin. You're probably like, well, Mandy, then shouldn't you keep it in the package so it doesn't dry out? Well, once again, I finish them quite quickly. Like a patch like this, I probably go through it in a month. <laughs> sometimes my, uh, my husband uses it as well, so sometimes I finish one of these in a couple of weeks, in fact. So therefore, I don't really need to put it back in the package or worry about it drying out. But of course, if you use it once in a blue moon, please do keep the package. I do like the fact that the, uh, the package has a Ziploc right here. So you can easily put it back inside and not worry about it drying. One, I guess, I guess, thing that I don't like about this is the fact that after when you put it on, and because I do have dried skin on certain areas, it does dry out your skin. And you can tell that once you remove it, it is a little red in that area because it, it, it did extract something, right, out of your pores. So what I usually do is I usually like to use a toner to kind of just like calm that skin back down. Um, I usually use like either a tea tree type of toner in that area to help it calm right down. But of course, this adheres to my skin a lot better. Um, last night I, I had a, I guess a stubborn acne or a breakout on my back and I decided to use one of these. It stayed on and I'm a rocky sleeper. I'm so surprised it stayed on to be honest. I don't normally use this on my back and if so, it might just be like a one-off kind of thing. But it worked really well actually. Um, time to time, yes, don't get me wrong. If my face is like super oily or something like that, it doesn't adhere too well onto my skin and it may fall off in the middle of the night. Don't get me wrong, both of these pimple patches you can use during the day. I tend to like to use it at nighttime because I don't have to think about it, right? I just put it on and then the next morning I just like take it off. Um, there, you do have to leave it on for a minimum, I believe, six hours. At least that's how it worked for me. Um, I have used these during the day sometimes where I'm just like, oh my god, there's just like this stubborn acne that just wouldn't go away and I'm only at home all day. So of course, I would just use a pimple patch during the day as well. So I've noticed that yes, I do need to leave it on for about six hours. Six to eight hours is the best result that I've noticed with experimenting uh, amongst these two. And of course, Sometimes one patch 
doesn't do the full job. Depending on how stubborn your acne is, you may need to use it the second night as well to um, absorb the remaining rest because it might already filled up your, um, your sticker already, right? So at least that's with my experience. So don't think this is a one one time use and you're done. So this is the reason why I go through these pimple patches that often because sometimes there's just that stubborn acne that won't leave your skin. Anyways, so if I were to choose, I guess, between the two, I would go for the Cosrx one. Reason being is that affordability, right? At less than $5 for 24 patches, I think is quite affordable in comparison to Next Care. Um, even though, yes, it tends to be a little bit more drying, but of course my trade-off is I would use a toner after. Uh, versus the Next Care one, it isn't drying when you remove it. It's not like you see like, uh, like a, a circle or something like that on your face or, or whatnot. Cosrx one, yes, sometimes you do. Um, it does go away really quickly, so don't get me wrong. It's not like you'll see like a circle on your face for like the remaining of the day because it's irritated. But no, 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 no. I've, I've had it once where I had it right here and I put a sticker on and when I removed it, I did see it there and I was like, oh my God, no, I gotta put on like a full face just to remove it. No, absolutely not. Like within like an hour or so, it was gone. It was just like basically the redness was just the, the pore um, where the acne was. And that's it. So now that I kind of put them side by side, they're, um, they're definitely different sizes. Uh, this one right here is the Next Care one. And this one here is the Cosrx one. And you can tell that the thickness right next to each other, or I'm trying to focus it on my camera, um, the Next Care one is definitely thicker than the Cosrx one, and the size is actually slightly different as well, given the fact that the Next Care one only has two sizes and the Cosrx one actually has three. I did pick the smallest size for both, and now you can tell the difference, right? So yeah, so I would gravitate towards the Cosrx one. Affordability, easy to access. Both of these I can buy it off Amazon. Um, of course, Cosrx, it's not locally, like you can't, I, I don't know a local seller that sells this. And if so, uh, you may see the price fluctuate a little bit. Um, sometimes you will probably get this for a little bit more expensive. Um, can range all the way to six to $8 for a pack like this, um, Canadian of course. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if so, remember to give me that thumbs up, and I shall see you guys in my next video. Bye!